Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me again today. This is the second installment of the Inspired by Andrea Mowry video series, uh, project series. And this is a zero tool prep. So anyone can do this, whether you have fancy tools or not. Taking a strip of comb top and laying a strip of roving on it, very, it's drafted very thin because I don't want a whole lot of the add in. And then either drafting it or just rolling it up. I tried several different ways of managing the fiber and honestly didn't notice a big difference about any of them. <clears throat> However, the unevenly drafted rolled up bits were a little bit harder to manage during spinning. So that's something to keep in mind. So the spin itself was pretty easy and straightforward to do. Um, if I had been planning a little bit better, I probably would have spun for singles, but I didn't, so it ended up being a pretty thick two-ply. Um, much thicker than I was hoping for and with a lot less yardage than I was hoping for. So, um, but <clears throat> there's nothing fancy in the spinning or the plying. The drafting and the management of the fibers this is a new method for me i've never spun like this before uh with this type of prep and it was really interesting and loads of fun and if you've never done a fiber blend in this manner i highly recommend you do it and just experiment with it because it was an absolute blast i did have a little bit of trouble managing where i was drafting from, but I wasn't being super, super critical about it. Like if I was uh, spinning across the top of a self-striping comb top, um, I probably would have been a little bit more picky about it. But with this, I wanted as much uh, marling of color as I could get. And I certainly did. Also, Shetland is a fairly long stapled fiber and the Corydell roving is a very short stapled fiber so this yarn ended up being a little bit of a challenge to to draft the fibers without um without the constant breaking so long drafts and short drafts and just listening to the fiber and paying attention to what I was doing and it it went fairly well and I'm quite happy with the end result However, um, I may have to rethink my original idea on how to make this sweater, but I'm going to go ahead and spin the other yarns before I make up my mind on exactly what to do. And then I might print off both the patterns, um, Andrea Mowry, So Faded, and Shifty, and see what the yardage requirements are and what the gauge is and all of that, and then go from there. So... Anyways, I don't think I have anything else to say about the project, so um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome to new viewers. Um, and welcome back to returning viewers. You guys are the best, and I enjoy interacting with you very much. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and... I will see you next time on the next portion of this project. Bye guys.